Hello and welcome back to Tyranny. Let's go back to Bastard's Wound. And... And what? Rift Talon will... Will do. We'll take this pot as the leader. The young sage watches the growing argument between Jaspos and Wolkstaff. As he approach, he interrupts their dickering with a cheerful salutation. The Fate Binder returns! Rifthal has rejoined us, and with all her limbs, he glances at his fellow magicians. Somehow, something to... to celebrate? Of course. <laughs> Neither Jaspos nor Wokstaff seem to share his satisfaction. And Lexine, did you find any trace of her? We found her alive in the depths. She insists she will not return. I, uh, I suppose I should have guessed that. You don't uh, <laughs> wander off into the old walls, generally speaking? If you end on coming back. Unless you're... <laughs> you, apparently. Enough! More important matters are at hand. The two men lock eyes as their nearby attendants and aiders, aides gather in close ranks. Yes, boss and walk stuff, as well as their assorted followers, all appear ready to fight. <laughs> What's going on here? Just some... <laughs> Long overdue sorting of affairs, I suppose you could say. The good Tidecaster and I seem to have <laughs> similar plans for Riftalon. More to the point, the Fortbound Master and I have mutually exclusive plans for this settlement. The wound needs one leader. One leader only. Both men stare at each other with sneers and puffed up posture. Nearby citizens look on in terrified silence as the crowd bristles with violent anticipation. Silent, all of you! Your words fall on deaf ears as the kerfuffle ripens into scattered tones and barbs. Silence! Your words echo through the wound, contested only by the persistent din of cascading water. You find yourself the subject of scrutiny from every angle, as the wound denizens watch the altercation uh, attentively. Yep, yep. When Alpha to Killing Shadow speaks with Thunder. Even Mystic Scour. I will settle this matter and you will all obey my decision or face my wrath. Uh, gentlemen, at this rate, violence all but assured. Someone needs to mediate, mediate this dispute. Otherwise, draw your weapons and be done with this here and now. Walks of Jaspos and their respective backers shift about nervously, but do not appear willing to land forward. Then we will follow the fate by will. Perhaps we can take the squabble elsewhere. Away from the peaceful folk. No space. We've done a mass perch above the watch nest. No wars will carry down to traps ears. No howls or sprints. A large pole presents you a keystone. I will resolve this dispute, and my decisions will not be questioned. Each of you will gather your supporters and meet me there. Perhaps this is the wisest course of action. We will prepare ourselves and meet you at once. Hey. Keystone leading where exactly? Wait, what? That was confusing because... Because the way it looked, it seemed that... Ah, okay, no, I'm just dumb. I thought this door leads on the other side of the... On the other side of the walk. I learned to speak properly. Um, but do we have any... Ah, there's... The portal. And we keep fighting. Yes, what do you want? 
With his wound in his eye, the four-bound smith unfastens the strap around one of her pauldrons and drops the metal appendage to the floor, exposing a muscular figure. She quickly traces a sigil with her ungloved hand and touches a hammer dangling from her smoke, frowning as it stubbornly remains inert and unsympathetic to her magical entreaties. She glances up as you approach. Sorry, Fatebinder. My spellcraft hasn't been cooperative of late. I take it you're not here to talk about my preoccupations. Anything in particular you'd like to discuss? She offers a first polite smile, but can't maintain it for more than a moment. What happened earlier with the hammer? I was embarrassing myself again. Seems like that's my only reliable talent these days. She, her cheeks grow flushed as she looks to the ground. I thought I was a competent napper, practically a journeyman in skin. <laughs> Lately, even the simplest preparatory spells vex me. Like that sorry display you witnessed. She raises her eyes to meet yours. <sighs> Something about this place is hollowing me out from the inside. Whatever forge burns inside grows cold. Let's, let's not speak any more of it. You're becoming one of the sleepless, aren't you? I, I think I am. <laughs> Started when I broke my hand under the mallet. Rookie mistake. I asked Riftalon to heal it, but things have gone sour ever since. Can't sleep. Can't summon a sigil to save my life. Worst of all, my... <laughs> she lowers her hand down to her stomach, frowning as she thinks better of saying more. I don't know how much time I have left. I just want to enjoy whatever last moments I have with Yaspos. Do you enjoy working for Yaspos? I do! <laughs> Yaspos introduced me to napping and it came easier than pottery. My first craft! If we hadn't fallen in love and married, I may have returned to the north and stayed in Carve's good graces. What do you do in the forge? I'm Yaspos' apprentice. Has been so for the last few years. She scoops up a small pot and spins it between her fingers. Nabbing wasn't originally my specialty. I apprenticed at the Master Arasma back in Livia's Crossing, but a freak accident meant that she would take your secrets of the ceramic arts to the void. Jaspos had just finished his work and was returning north for more training with the guild, so I joined him. Long story short, we stumbled upon the wound and stayed, and I took on the new trace of Jaspos as my mentor. Maybe I found something. Ooh, thank you. Or maybe you have not. Oh, you did. You always find good stuff. After this, I think we'll switch back to Barrick instead of... Maybe instead of Lantry. Hmm, I need to think about that. the nearby waterfall blankets overlook with a mist. Perched high above the settlement, a sizable crowd of Wokstaff and Jaspos loyalists have gathered in support of their chosen leader. The young scribe separates the two obstinate halves with frequent but ineffective entreaties. Calm yourself, we're here to settle a delicate matter. An impulsive frog move shatters everything we've built in this place. Riftown has returned. I may know many of you fear her, but she is the mightiest of our settlement, and there may be more to her mystical powers we've only begun. 
We don't need that mother of sleepers in our settlement. I say we end this old beast. Alive, she's a risk, but dead, she can be of value. The old tidecaster angrily wraps the damp floor with his staff. You're witnessing a rare moment. I agree with our vainglorious master of bragging on one thing. Riftown's time has come and gone. She deserves a merciful death. Her service to our community has earned her no less. Her death will save countless lives and redeem this <laughs> mother of sleepless of her shame. Riff Talon, what have you to say about all this? The East Woman returns to the tribe to put end to squabbling. We we'll lead the pack mates in hand and kill such beasts lurking in their cause. Riff Talon does not need Mystic Strength to be struck prima. We will not use many grace on human gift. Indeed, the good Bisona's return could herald a better direction for the wound. Something for us to carefully consider, certainly. He produces pen and parchment and holds them at the ready. For the record, of course. <laughs> Fadebinder, how would you like to proceed? Yes, boss, the floor is yours. Why are you most fit to lead the wound? This secluded refuge of stone is my natural setting, and I, the expert of all things stone, the natural leader. Jasper smiles and begins to pace in a circle, taking the opportunity to address the crowd more intimately. The day passes that you don't set foot on a bridge that I built, and to whom would you turn in this if these corridors begin to crumble? The tight cast agreements in disgust. Perhaps the sleepless just needn't to listen to you a little more. We've grown and thrived because I had the vision to see us do more than cower in the darkness of the old walls. I know we haven't seen eye to eye on everything, Fatebinder, but I believe we have room for common ground and shared vision. His pen of feathery plumes scurries fiercely across the page. <coughs> Forgive me, it's quite a lot to take down at once. Have you anything to corroborate of contradict to co or contradict Espos claims? You claim a title you haven't earned and haven't claimed tools, not your own. How is anyone supposed to follow a man of such deceit? Well, uh, I, his composure falters as he clears his throat. Yes, I see myself above the staid tradition of the fourth bound, and yes, I was not fully forthcoming at first, but... He turns from you and toward the crowd. Have I not poured the fullness of my days into the, our success? You know I can be trusted. Don't let my personal squabbles with this outside attain the truth. Anything else you wish to add? Mm -hmm. The tire no nothing. I don't wanna take any side right now. Illuminate excitements all around. What of tight casters walk stuff? Do you wish to ask him anything? Speak. Explain why you would be we would better lead the settlement. The tightcaster's face tightens into an unending series of disapproving wrinkles, creases and frowns. Are we really going to do this? He says. Fine. Everyone here knows me. I've been here since the wound was little more than a bag of fight and child, afraid of this new home of ours. Living here is never ending test. If the bane don't kill you, the water will. My magic has saved many from the early stages of the withering rot. How many of you wouldn't be here today without my help? How many will be tomorrow without it? Jaspus will fill your head about some glorious future for the wound. I won't. I happen to have a goal to think that a simple, quiet life here, where we are masters of our own destiny, is worth more than a mountain of rings. This family is strong and safe if we take careful, measured steps and protect our own. I know I haven't had your unconditional support, but I trust you understand what I've done and I will continue to do for the good of this place. I would like to think my actions as a leader speak for themselves. 
Note that the script dutifully dictates the proceedings. Have you anything to say about Wokstaff's account, Fatebinder? Your decisions to contaminate the wound's crops was pretty petty and vile. Your leadership is questionable at best. I see. Wokstaff frowns. Now you're living up to my usual expectations of the court and its questionable judgment. I, it shouldn't surprise me that someone of your ilk would be swayed by the loudest voice in the room. Anything you wish to add? We've heard from both parties now. Have you come to a decision, Fabender? Reef Talon will lead Buster's wound. The beast woman steps forward hesitantly. Is fate by the uncertain. Reef Talon's mystic strength brought a great harm to human gift. Beast woman only wants to help him type. Must not bring him again. She glances at the pass of her hand. I sure hope this is a wise decision. If we return to a den of sleepless, chances are we screwed up. If wound kin wish to live next to Bane, must have powerful Prima in charge. Beast Woman is only proper choice. I dare say she's probably the best hope for this place. If I may interject, I must say the Rift House has proven her capacity for leadership in the past. While well, I'm certain all parties present here the interest of the wound at heart, I dare say the Beast Woman is uniquely positioned to shepherd us throughout through these strange times. Your powers are dangerous, but only if you use them on humans. We only need your strength and conviction to lead the wound. Good. We've done does not want to risk life of human gift with dark magic. But woundkin hunters will continue to grow strong and with mending rights as ally. Scorch beasts cannot harm wound warriors with piston as prima. She stares down her revolves with a menacing glare. Blood feud between ocean mystic and stone smasher has grown into endless poison. Rift on again hold squabbling humans down on his silence, like unruly cups. The beast woman rises her full height. Rift on his prima full tribe will fight so can make her strong. Fade binder. I hope I've shown the court that I'm a reasonable man. But they must protest this decision. I find it difficult to understand how you can advocate on behalf of this deserter of a beast. She abandoned us. And now we are to view her as a leader. Let's not forget her penchant for transforming people into bubbling, incoherent idiots. You would have us put this freak at the head of a table. <laughs> I've chosen one of your own to lead. Don't test my charity. With pain and expression, Jaspos bows his head and speaks with an uncharacteristically restrained voice. I will abide by the fate binder's judgment. Your word is law. I'll be damned if I take orders from <laughs> Wokstaff stops himself and exhales, exhales loudly. <sighs> a fate binder's law is as capricious as the sea. But one does not argue with the sea. You won't suffer any more prickly wars from me about this matter. The gather crowd seems to finally release their collective breath. Shoulders slacken as to the grips held up on various hilts and handles. Mel slowly lowers the scroll held up to his face with the look of a stunned battle battlefield survivor. Uh, uh, so, the matter has been settled. Uh, thank you all for remaining calm during these trying times. Folks, please return to your homes and give yourselves time to accept the steps we must now take for the world's future. And, uh, Fadebinder, thank you for bringing this matter to an end. The settlement's prosperity will rest upon the wisdom of your decision. A smirk appears on his face. Kairos, help us all. The crowd slowly breaks apart, returning to the settlement with nervous talk of the events that just unfolded. Soon, the crumbling overlook is bereaved of commotion, and the tranquil sound of waterfalls fill the area. The blue-tinted beast bows at your approach, 
lowering to her knees and elbows in a deep bow of supplication. Slowly, her head rises to meet your gaze. Uh, if time is busy, busy with tribe, it's good, yeah, but... The beast poses in a long sigh. Mm, it's more problems than easy way, but this plenty feeding with the long, not no sleep. Must apologize. I have little time to discuss. That's the worst they're hunting with Talon. Best mystics no longer motivated to chase to make many, many things. This woman did show a new path and the loom of a lazy human in the Charleston. Hope you'll do well. Oops. The water spills in the buster's wound from the open mountains above cascading over the edge of a cliff hanging above you. And... I suppose we are dealt with Buster's wound? Oh, that's the way we can check it. I think so. We need to find the Buster's wound farm chronicle. Oh, okay. But that we will do the next time. For now, I want to thank you. Hmm? Okay, you know what. Uh, so, stay alive and see you soon as I'll be looking for the place we can use to teleport into farms. Oh, I think this one. So. No, thank you very much. Stay alive. See you soon.